we're washing, oh, make sure to use slots one and three. Okay, in today's world, big houses, kind of a thing of the past for a lot of people. Prices are high, interest rates are high, so people are moving on to the next best option. One, they can build their own house, make it smaller. People love the tiny homes, super popular, and people love building homes into campers, RVs, buses, all sorts of things. So what if you have one of those and you want a dishwasher? What are your options? Full-size dishwasher, it's huge. Sure, a lot of people just wash them by hand, but today we're here to check out a different option. This is the Hava Compact Countertop Dishwasher. It's small, it's portable, 950 watts, which means with our recent battery bank video, you could power this in an RV, camper, tiny home, which you plugged into power, no big deal. So we're just gonna do a quick review today. We're gonna check it out, test it out, see how it works, and see if it's right for you. All right, so inside we got ourselves a little bit of an owner's manual. All looks pretty self-contained. So depending on your install, this is gonna have multiple options for water, and this is gonna have multiple options for drainage. So your multiple options are, one, you can connect this directly to a hose and hook it up to a water supply if you're gonna be using this in a house continuously, or if you're using this on the go, in a camper, a van, a vehicle, something smaller, you can add water right here through this top. So right here on top, there is just a top you remove. Inside, you got a little bit of a filter. You pour the water straight in there. All the directions are printed right here on top. Next up, it runs off of a 110 volt plug, pretty normal plug. This is 950 watts, so keep in mind, this isn't gonna work very well with some of the power boxes we've checked in the past. A lot of them max out around 600 watts continuous. They'll peak over, so you, know, you can use things that hit above 600 a little bit, but continuous power over is gonna cause them to trip and turn off. So let's hop inside and see what it comes with. There's a whole lot going on in there. Okay, after cutting off all the plastic, let's check this thing out. So you got your water jug. There's gonna be a specific amount of water you need to add depending on the size of your load. I'm sure that'll be all up here in the directions. Looks like starting off, it also comes with a fruit basket, apparently just for washing or rinsing fruit. Got ourselves a drain tube here. This is gonna be the live water connection, so it'll screw into like a sink or a type of faucet. Then here we have a basket for some smaller stuff, possibly silverware, another silverware or small stuff basket up here. And then your main rolling tray, sitting on top of six wheels, pretty solid construction. So overall, it's built pretty much like a normal dishwasher, just smaller and more compact, except the option to be able to use it out and about, away from the house in a smaller area, as long as you have power. Looks like inside you get yourself a little bit of a small drain basket, so depending on what you're draining into, you can capture larger food type things in there. Got your little spinny mud bob in here. This is gonna spray water. It also has a small one right up there on top. Another cool aspect to this, it is also compatible with most over-the-counter dishwasher tablets. They go right here in the front. We have it plugged in. It's got a nice little LED up on top. Plenty of space for quite a few dishes. Then if we close it, push the top button up here. So you have normal, speed, soft, baby care heavy, and fruit. Let's just run it through fruit. So fruit is basically just going to clean your fruit, probably a little bit of warm water. You know, it might get some wax off, something like that. Then it also has a drying option up here. Okay, I almost forgot to put my fruit in there. Now, to make this go a little bit faster, our fruit is going to be Kingston Fury HyperX DDR4 RAM. We're gonna speed this up. This is gonna get nice and clean. Make sure you slot the RAM in correctly. Now, as you can see, we have our RAM in the RAM slots. I know the left one's a little crooked. This is proper orientation, I promise. So now we're gonna go ahead and close it. Now, if we want our fruit nice and clean, we just hit play. Silly me, guys. I started this without showing you guys what we're cleaning. Let's pull it out and take a look, and then we'll get it back in. So, got plenty of water in there. But first up, what we're cleaning here is the DDR4 HyperX memory. Now, you don't want your dishwasher running slow, so let's slot that back in. Make sure to use slots one and three for optimal performance. Now, if we check here, sorry guys, it's a little bit wet. I kind of messed up my footage and I wanted to show you guys the dirt before, but we're washing, oh, there's still some on there, perfect. We're washing our motherboard and processor. Now, I like to wash them together. It saves a little bit of time and you don't gotta worry about drying out all the slots. That's not all. We can't forget the graphics card. This thing was dusty. It's been being used for years. So we got our Radeon HD 5750 in there. Now, make sure to slot the GPU near the RAM. 
That is the fastest cleaning slot available. So we're gonna go ahead and slide these back in here and we're gonna let this cycle continue. Pretty excited, I've needed to clean this computer for quite a while. Okay, so on a more useful note, I am standing directly next to this with my mic. <laughs> this thing is crazy quiet. So if you happen to have this thing in a small camper, RV, in a studio, you know, you gotta clean your computer parts, am I right? It's not gonna bug you. This mic does tend to pick up a lot of things, like if I take this piece of plastic, just tapping on the other side, you can hear that loud as day. This thing is quiet. Now with this current setup right here, we filled it up. It took about three of these right here. And once it got full, you got three beeps. Then you can run through your cycle. I currently have the drain hose hooked up to a pan right below me, enough to hold all the gallons, no problem. Now, if you were to hook this up in a car or in a house or whatever, you can install this into a drain or you can install it running outside. Just, you know, try to be uh, conscientious of the things you're washing and the soap you're using if you're just dumping it straight outside. All right, we're coming up on the end of our rinse cycle. It's about 20 minutes. And the noise you can hear right now is the pump pumping out all the water down below. Okay, now that it's done, all we gotta do is check out the parts. All right, normally a little blue light comes on when I open this up, but I unplugged it to give myself some more space. So first, let's check out the RAM. That looks pretty clean. As we can see, the Hyper DDR4, nice and clean. Let's put it over here. Make sure to unslot carefully. You don't wanna break your tabs. Any good computer builder uh, needs that advice once in their life. Alrighty then. Now, keep in mind, this part does not offer a dry cycle, but as we can see, the motherboard, oh, she looks nice and clean. It got the processor sparkly. We'll set that over on our drying pad here. Now, the grimiest one of all was definitely the graphics card. Check her out. No dust, no dirt, no hair to be seen. I suppose all that's left to do is turn it on. All right, all jokes aside, uh, washing your computer parts in a dishwasher, it's totally possible. In most cases, it's safe. As long as you leave them out to dry and make sure they completely dry, usually pretty quickly, otherwise you can corrode the parts. But on that note, the Habit comes in about 279 bucks. The seat's on sale right now. If you guys wanna grab one and check it out, make sure to hit the link down below. Quality-wise, she feels solid. It's got plenty of space in there. I could've fit at least four motherboards and three video cards in there, along with RAM for all of them, no problem. I know this is a bit of an odd product for the channel, but they wanted to send it over and I thought it was a really unique size and form factor in an age where people love to build portable, small, tiny houses and sometimes you just want the convenience of a dishwasher so again thanks have for sending this over i had a lot of fun and a lot of usefulness cleaning up my beast mode gaming computer with my hd 5750 so if you guys want to check them out down below go ahead and check them out on that note for those stuck around to the end of the video april 20th 7 p.m eastern we're going to be hosting our next show on whatnot going to be a whole lot of things for sale on there on auction very likely this will make an appearance so if you guys want some great deals, you want to come hang out in the live chat, come check us out. Like, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you on the next one.